Welcome back to the 2010 MLG Halo 3 National Championships. You are seeing the score of our championship match. Final boss leads status quo in the best of 11 series, four to two. Joining us now in the booth, we got Bravo, coach of Triggers Down as we gear up for game number seven of the series. It's gonna be Heretic Team Slayer. And here in Heretic, it looks like we got it's gonna be on Heretic. Look, guys, on this map, it's gonna be all about the kills. The first team to 50 kills. There's gonna be no power weapon, so it's all about the battle rifles and positioning. Final boss taking on SQ, and SQ just put on a performance on the pit. Here we go, we're on the purple map, and we're starting it with Ace. He just dropped 30 kills, and he finished the game with a triple and then a flag cap. And Bravo, you've seen these two match up time and time again at the LAN network, at the 16 LANs. And we've also seen Status Quo take a number of these games here on this game type. Yeah, what we're going to look for, Chris, is whichever team can get pin control and then really trap a team in a base. Uh, once teams start collapsing on uh, Blue 2 or Red 2, you're going to just see their kill count go way above the other team. And you've been watching this SQ squad. Your team lost a little bit earlier. We just watched this all pick up a triple kill. You guys nearly lost to Status Quo earlier in the, er, in the tournament. Tell me, what did you see from Status Quo so far in this match? Um, they're playing each game type really fast, Chris. Um, if two are dead, the next two are flying at you, trying to get map control back, and it really puts, you know, you have to be on guard the whole time. Whereas Final Boss plays much more passive, you'll see on their flag game types, they'll really wait to kill all of the other players um, before they pull, and that's you know, something that has been a characteristic of Ogre 2 for a while. You know, they get map control and they push, whereas Status Quo might have two dead, but they can catch you off guard by pushing low or pushing up top. And let me ask you, in your in your series, Triggers Down versus Status Quo, who was the standout player for us 2 if there was one? Oh, I don't think, without a doubt, um, I've talked to a few people since, and it was uh, Assault. Um, he's playing out of his mind. Not generally a standout player, you know, someone who kind of uh, does his job and uh, plays a support role. But uh, in the series versus us, I think most people agree that he was really going off. Right now, you're taking a look at the score. Final boss leading here in game number seven, 17 to 14. Assault getting charged. Ace is going to clean up the kill on I Got Your Pistol. Taking a look at the stats. So we got to go check out Ogre 2 when we get a chance. He already has eight kills of his team's 18. Assault so going for the instant splits, making his way up to pink too. And Chris, what have you seen so far out of this SQ squad? Well, SQ really hasn't gotten too much control on the map so far. Final Boss has really dominated the pink tower, been trapping Status Quo kind of in a base, and that's why they established an early lead here. The Status Quo seem to have broken out now. They're all on Carbine side of the map. They're pushing out, and that's why they're going to get back into it. Just two minutes into the game, it's already 22 to 20. An extremely fast game type here being played by both teams. Ogre 2 with nine kills on the other side. Like you said, Bravo, it is Assault leading the SQ squad. 23 to 22, as actually we're seeing SQ take the lead for the first time this game, but final boss just retook pink control. And I love the way SQ's been playing all series long. The pressure they put on other teams is ridiculous. I mean, they literally, like Bravo was saying, two are down, the other two are charging, trying to establish some sort of map control, cause some sort of chaos going on with the other team, and that's how they're taking the lead here. Mm -hmm. If Status Quo is able to find that balance between waiting for each other and then pushing at the right times, they could definitely take a few games this series. You got Fear Itself putting some heavy fire on Ace and Friends over on the Blue Carbine side, going in with the Frag Grenades, now looking up above him for a player who was on car three. And Fear Itself looking a little bit confused, can't find that player, but he's going to move up to top middle, and he's going to have a great position here to fire upon the Status Quo respawns. Mm -hmm. This is what I was talking about right here, Chris. They've kind of got him trapped at Blue 2, although they don't even have Pink 3 control, which is what is common uh, on this map. They were able to Fear Itself pinching him Pink side, and they had a car flank able to take out now a 7 kill lead. Yeah, Victory X coming on that Carbine flank, but now you see Fear Itself pushing in to finish the kill. Remember, Fear Itself, your Old Spice Swagger co-MVP with Pistola back in DC, and he is really showing off some skills here. He's on a killing spree, going for number six as he takes down Enable. Finally going to be stopped by Flamesword, but he and Ogre 2 really controlling the pace of the game. 13 kills for Ogre 2, 11 kills for Fear Itself, and Ogre 2 doing a nice job of staying alive here on car side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ogre 2, perpetually a great midship player. I mean, he was one of the best in Halo 2 at this map, now one of the best in Halo 3 in this map. He just understands what to do in almost every single situation. And I guarantee he dominates in the Halo Reach version of this map as well. You know it'll be back next year. Ogre 2 making his push with the rest of the game, coming off the respawn. They got status quo on Carbine side, and final boss not looking back they only need three more kills you got pistol sitting pretty in pink too he's sitting in the sneaky corner you got victory x and ogre 2 at red base just trying to bait in sq yeah, you think about that chris uh 
Her Heretic midship the only game to honor all five of Halo 2's game types, so you can bet, you know, with as many games as Ogre 2 play that he knows how to play this map. For darn sure. Right now you're checking out Fear Itself trying to end the game here. Bravo, got to thank you for joining us up in the booth. Final boss looking like they're closing this one out. But status quo going on a huge run here. They just got six kills as final boss only picks up two. Pistol going for kill number 49, taking fire from all over the map. 10 to 15 or 10.15 left on the clock, but it doesn't matter as Pistola's making his way. P3 finally finding Assault, that's number 49. He's looking for 50, Victory X calls him out, bottom blue, and Pistola's gonna shoot the player, bottom middle, game over, final boss takes it. Alrighty, so final boss taking that one and looking at the stats, it was all about Fear Itself there dropping 16 kills, the rest of his team dropping huge assist, Ogre 2 also going positive in that one. On the other side, status quo, none of their players able to go positive in that one. Bravo, predictions for the final of the series? I know you said status quo is bouncing back. Um, yeah, but with the way final boss is playing right now, so on fire, I mean every series they're playing with the, the confidence um, of a winning team, uh, you're going to look... If status quo can not get down on themselves and uh, just keep taking it one game at a time, uh, they might be able to pull it off, but it's not going to be easy, Chris. All right, well, Bravo, thank you so much Absolutely. for joining for us. Me. I'm going to win us some Hot Pockets. Here we go, baby. We're going into this one. We're going to finish strong. It's Oddball on Guardian coming up next. Final boss and status quo, both amazing at this game type. Final boss got off to a huge start against Instinct. They're looking to do it again now against status quo. If they win this game, they walk away with a $100,000 check. Let's see if they can do it. We're starting right now with Fear Itself. He just dropped power. Positive six, and he's looking to make it more here on Oddball. Look at the start here. We got Fear itself looking towards Camo. Ogre 2 is going to go top green. Pistola and Victory holding down the snipe tower. Yeah, right now you can see Final Boss knows they're one victory away from that $100,000, the title of national champions. They're playing great right now. They probably have to be feeling so confident. I'm expecting them to almost run away with this game here. We got Fear itself making its way back to the Snipe Tower as it looks like Ogre 2 is going to get the early oddball and bring it back to green. Fear itself making its way up to Snipe 3. Pistol was just taken down on Snipe 2 and he's going for that Sniper. Ace had it. Ace hit Fear once, but now Fear has both the Mauler and the Sniper. And this is the combo you want on this map. Yeah, but he was taken down by Enable, and that's the last player you want to give Snipe Mauler to is Enable, especially when they're down 5-2. Enable can heat up, and they can run away with this game. Very interesting play here from Enable. He saw the Mauler, but he decided to pull out the BR so he could help out his team down on Elbow, and it paid off. That allowed Assault to set up with it, and now he's got Flamesword top green, and Ace watching his back on Snipe 2. And I really like that play out of Enable. A lot of players will take both power weapons, but at the same time, they won't have a battle rifle in order for any long-range fight for helping their team out. I, for me, personally, you always wanted to split up the power weapons, give your teammates the best available weapons possible. Ogre 2 looking top gold here. Fear itself connecting on a snipe on Enable, who is baited out by Ogre 2. And now we switch back to Fear, pulling out that sniper rifle. He's getting charged pretty strongly here by the SQ squad. Here comes Assault, and Assault once again impressing me on the main stage. This kid has been going off all weekend long. He's now got the sniper rifle to work with, and he's going after the oddball player. And what a great job of show of confidence, too, right there. He has got hit by the nade of Fear itself and still charges through it and kills Fear itself. That's a big play. Fear itself holding, or Flame Sword rather, holding the off ball. Fear itself getting sniped in the mouth by Assault. Assault looking down snipe one. He's expecting the rush, but there's no one there. Looking bottom gold, but he's only going to find players over at the blue and gold tower. You got Victor X lined up at camo. Over to top blue window, and Pistola making his way top middle here. Status quo. Not picking up too much ball time. It's 38 to 18 here, guys, and they're allowing FB to push top mid on him. Yeah, but Final Boss is doing a great job of getting nades into the Snipe Tower. They're making the Assault always have no shields, and Assault did a great job right there, staying alive, taking down the Final Boss charge. He knows Pistola is bottom green, looking for Fear itself, who pushes top middle, and Assault staying alive. This kid is playing amazing right now. Two minutes and 30 seconds off the clock. That means the new sniper is coming up right now as the Saul chases down Fear itself for another killing spree. He's got to have at least 20 this tournament. Yeah, he's been playing incredible. We said it over and over again. The one player that probably gets the least publicity by far on this team, he's been playing the best so far this tournament. It's 38 to 23, an early lead for status quo, but now you're watching as Victor X from Final Boss is going to get the camo, and he's moving up for that new sniper rifle. Jumps over Assault's head, who's confused. Where'd that sniper go? And he's going to get beaten down as Victory goes for the shots on Enable. Or Ace, rather, and he's picking up the double. 
Yeah, it was a huge play right there by Victor X. Notice how he decided to go on the railing right there instead of just jumping up. That way, the status quo squad couldn't detect his camo. 46 to 38. Final boss taking the lead here. Killing spree out of Victor X, taking out a player. Snipe three, Enable finally ending his spree, but Pistola's gonna clean up the kill, picking up a nice double from Camo. There you see the confidence showing a final boss. Victor X is pulling out that sniper mid-battle. Could have dropped a couple shields, but he was going for a flashy no scope. And Pistola pre-nading is gonna catch a player at Camo. It's Assault, he's gonna finish that kill. Warp up behind Flamesword, call out Ace who's behind him, and then beat Enable once in the face and trades for a killing spree. Amazing play out of Pistol. He basically just injured three players and took out two of them. Yeah, right now, Final Boss has just been rotating the ball so perfectly. It's almost as if Status Quo is just chasing a ghost. Every time Status Quo seems to gain control of where Final Boss was, the ball's on the other side of the map. And that's that veteran Ogre 2 knowing exactly what to do in every single situation. Perfect ball movement. They are going to pick up a huge chunk of time. Now leading 83 to 38. Status Quo hasn't gotten a second. And Final Boss, they picked up at least 60. And <laughs> you hear Ogre 2, he was yelling at Ace's older brother, Elamite, earlier. Now he's yelling at Ace. Ogre 2 forcing players to back down, playing with all kinds of confidence here. Yeah, and that's a scary Ogre 2. I've gone against an Ogre 2 like that in the 2007 championship. We both have, and we didn't take a game from him. The, he is terrifying when he has confidence. And the worst part is you really, you want to do something to shut him down, but you can't at that point. Once Tom starts yelling, you know he is at the top of his game, and there's almost nothing you can do to stop him. You're checking out Fear Itself, Victory, and Ogre 2, all converging on Enable, bottom middle. Pistola's going to line up top blue, but we're going to switch our camera over to Fear. He's been running amazing routes with this camo. Yeah, he's been incredibly sneaky with the camo, and that's what you want to see here. You won't see him shoot. He's going to try to make sure his teammates are in good positions before he's going to let himself known. Props to Coach Mazik, who's calling out those times. He was there perfectly when that sniper came up. Fear itself, however, was taken out by a grenade from Enable. You're taking a look at Ace. He's making his way up the elbow as Enable is going to hold that ball. Bottom green and Assault just picked up the sniper. Top snipe three. Yeah, and this is a great setup here for status quo. This is what is gonna, they need right now in order to get ball time. We saw against Instinct, they're incredibly good at the sniper setup. And Final Boss needs to make a nice push here. SQ picking up 24 seconds with that run. They're trying to maintain control of the Snipe 2 control, but you have Fear itself pushing in. Fear's going to be taken down, but Final Boss continuing to apply pressure as Ogre 2 comes over the cannon. You got Victory pushing from bottom green, and he's got help from Pistola as well. And Ogre 2 just goes undetected over that Snipe lift. That just shows that Status Quo is so worried about this ball, but it didn't come back to haunt him because Ogre 2 was taken down with the grenade pretty quickly. Three dead for final boss. You see Flame Sword over on Camo, the rest of his team setting up at the Snipe Tower. And Flame Sword gonna trade kills with Pistol before being taken out. 87 to 81. Remember, final boss jumped out with a 60 second spree there, and then we just saw Status Quo pick up about 50 seconds of their own, guys. Yeah, this game has always been a back and forth game. Guardian Arbol, as soon as you get control, you can rack up large amounts of times, and both these teams are exceptionally good at it. Status Quo, one of the best teams are coming back in this game type. This could be the final game of the 2010 MLG Pro Circuit. Final boss needing just one more game to win the $100,000 paycheck. You got Assault from SQ trying to make sure that doesn't happen. He's got the oddball bottom green and Naval pushing top middle with Camo to support. And guys, I would love to listen in. Let's crank up our Astros and listen in with the SQ squad. Top gold, top gold right now, top gold. Aaron's got ball, Aaron's got ball, Aaron's got ball. You have plenty of camo. It's all right, it's all right. We got the lead, let's go. Top, top, top gold, victory, another one there. Two. Go engage on three guys. Two. One is one shot, this is gold, top gold. Top gold, gold guys, next one blue. In blue, two in blue entrance, weak. Top in for blue entrance. Go on one shot and blue entrance. Top gold, top gold, top gold, top gold, Watch blue, watch blue. Bottom blue, bottom blue. I'm taking the stop camo. Bottom mid, one shot, flame. One shot, bottom mid, flame. Top weak assault. He did the jump, he's top middle. Top middle. Top weak, enable. Bottom weak. Ace is top middle. Sniper's up now. Sniper's clear, guys. Sniper's clear. This guy packs sniper right now, bonus one. 
Yeah, blue and blue. And then you gauge him. I'm not sure, guys. You gauge him. The blue and the blue are the And I gauge him. Momentum, fear itself, sucking it out of him with that double kill. 125 and counting to 104. FB retakes the lead. Top goal, top goal. Right, 
With less than two minutes left on the clock, we see final boss extending with a 30 plus second lead. I got your pistol sitting top green with the camo, baiting that oddball. Victory X has the sniper on snipe two and fear itself is there to position himself for protection as well. Final boss really just one minute and 40 seconds away from winning our Dallas Championships, guys, unless we see a huge run from SQ right now. And final boss is just picking up huge plays. Victory X gets an, a tremendous double kill to secure this snipe setup. Pistola stops Flamethrower, back whacks him in the back. It's just an incredible place from them. Yeah, the really the individual skill of FP is shining through right now. They're playing great. Taking a look at the clock, though, you got Final Boss moving in on that oddball. SQ trying to set up over at Blue. Ogre 2 is going to make a huge flank once again, coming up huge. He's going to stop that oddball time. 60 seconds left on the clock, and we need SQ to get about 50 of them if they want to win this one. Fear itself and crew all pushing across the map right now. It looks just like the Instinct match. Final Boss leading the majority of the game. And there you go, it looks like they have this one wrapped up as three members from SQ go down. Fear itself holding on to that oddball. And it is officially over. Final Boss standing up and celebrating. Final Boss, your 2010 MLG National Champions. And it looks like Ogre 2 doesn't even realize what he just did. Final Boss winning the last three tournaments of the season in a row. Final Boss going down as the only Halo 3 dynasty. And there you see the sportsmanship. Hats off the status quo who played incredible all weekend long. Finishing second and walking home with $60,000. Yeah, that was great play right there by Final Boss. But again, we can't talk enough about status quo. Coming into this tournament, ranked as the fourth seed, they played great, defeating a great Triggers Down team and a great Instinct team. Good job to status quo. All right, so there you go. Final score in the best of 11. Final Boss six, status quo two. Final Boss crown your champions. Guys, we are going to commercial break. When we come back, we will wrap up the entire weekend.